A country on the brink of war. Gino Bartali, the Italian hero, practically evicted in his fight for the Tour de France, but a call from the presidency changed everything. Do you know the history of the 1948 tour and the miracle that stopped the war? Then follow my wheel and I'll tell you. Our protagonist today is the history of our sport. A cyclist remembered and revered generation after generation, not only for his sporting successes, which were many, but for his human quality. He won three Giros d'Italia and the Tour de France twice 10 years apart, something that has not been repeated in the history of the French round. Probably his successes would be greater if the Second World War hadn't crossed his path. But what would really go down in history, Gino the Pious, as he was nicknamed in Italy for his great Catholic faith, was for saving more than 800 Jews, serving mail for a clandestine network taking advantage of his long training but that story will be told in another video. His great rivalry with his compatriot Fausto Coppi has gone down in the history of sport and turned cycling into a religion in the transalpine country. Once the war was over, our protagonist Gino Bartali was presented at the start of the tour of 1984 as the great Italian hope in the Coppi absence. A post-war Italy, which at that time had an unsustainable political climate and was moving inexorably towards a civil war. Despite the efforts of the Italian in the Pyrenees, where he won two stage wins, the Frenchman Louison Bobet arrived at the head of the general classification with a solid advantage of 20 minutes over Bartali, which was practically already ruled out for the final triumph. The Italian cyclist was already 34 years old. For this reason, some have wanted to see the divine action in what happened days later in the Alps. That July 14, 1948 day, Gino Bartali slept in Cannes 21 minutes behind the leader of the Tour de France, the young Louison Bobet, who had even gained time the day before. It was the rest day in that tour, and in Italy, things were getting very ugly. The general secretary of the Communist Party, Palmiro Togliatti, suffered an attack that placed the country on the verge of an internal conflict. Alcide de Gaspari, Christian Democrat leader and president of the Council of Ministers, then turned to his friend Gino Bartali to calm the spirits. A sporting joy could help calm tension. You can do a lot for Italy, Bartali heard. Whether it was the call or his own pride as a champion, Bartali went into action the next day, July 15, reached its great terrain, the mountain, 274 kilometers from Cannes to Briançon, with the climbs to Alos, Bars, and Isward. In addition, it was very bad weather in the Alps, something that our hero liked very much. Jean Robic crowned the first two colossi. Bobet was going through the mountain. He was suffering. The race came broken at the Isward, and that's where Bartali gave the big blow. He left alone and won at the Briançon finish line after more than 10 hours of stage a real madness. Robic didn't want to follow and Bobet lost more than 19 minutes. The flying mug, practically ruled out the day before, was already less than two minutes from the yellow jersey with two alpine stages still to be played. The Italian idol has come back to life. The next day, second blow. Second stage on the alpine mountain range between Briançon and aix les bains with another 263 kilometers and three big climbs, now considered out of category. Bartali climbed the Galibier and the Croix de Fer and stood in Aix les Bains with almost six minutes on Stan Ockers, who was second, finishing off another brutal day of epic cycling. Bobet entered with more than seven minutes and the yellow jersey passed so in the hands of the Italian. A feat unthinkable two days ago, on that historic day of rest in Cannes, but Bartali hasn't yet finished his task. If you're liking our story today, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our stories. Not content with the previous day's exhibitions, the next day, July 18, he won alone in Lausanne after another alpine crossing of eight and a half hours. It was the culmination of a masterpiece, three wins in a row in the Alps in a historic milestone to go from being 21 minutes behind Bobet to leaving the Frenchman more than half an hour away. The Frenchman who wouldn't even finish on the podium but who would become a three-time tour champion in the following years. 
Bartali finished the tour 26 minutes ahead of second place Stan Ockers and seven stage wins. Listening to the Prime Minister, he no longer looks so old. He won the yellow jersey in Paris 10 years after his first victory before the Second World War in 1938. He achieved it with the largest exhibition ever seen, possibly of a cyclist in the mountains. The communist Togliatti didn't die in the attack and also collaborated with Alcide de Gasperi, calling for calm to his followers. Between them, they managed to save a critical situation for Italy, thanks to the miracle of Gino Bartali, a miracle that will remain forever in the memory of the Italian tifosi and all cycling lovers. If you want to continue enjoying the best cyclists of all time, don't miss this.